All right, hello everyone. Today we're finding memory addresses. First, right, we're gonna need this software called Kidro. This is a program made by the NSA, and it's pretty much just for reverse engineering. We're just gonna download it from GitHub right now. Come here, download this. So you'd extract this, and then you just open Gidra run bat right here. Yours should look something like this, but you won't have an active project. You'd have to go to here, file, new project, and name it whatever you want. We're gonna have to find our GD folder. All right, so we just right click, and we find our installed file. This geometry-exe is all that we want right now, and we're gonna, all you gotta do is just drag it into here, and then I'll just name this video bro. all right so you're gonna see a lot of things all you gotta do is just click ok right and then we have it right here so you just double click on this and you're gonna have to analyze it so you just click yes you want to analyze that right now don't mind any of this just click analyze and this is gonna take a little bit so while this is doing this i'm gonna show you guys another thing that you're gonna need because we're not just using this Bro, we're gonna need something to compare it to. All right, so in GeoSDK, you're gonna wanna look in the dev news channel, right? And you will find, own the libs 2.206 edition, click on this, and you will have the download right here. So we open this, we're gonna wanna use the libcocos 2 dcppso This is the one that we need. We just drag this into our project, and we just do the same thing that we did with the gd.exe. All right, so we click okay again. And then we're just going to open it and it's going to ask us to analyze again. And then, boom, analyze and analyze. As you can see by the bottom right, these are both analyzing right now. And these are going to take a little bit, so I will cut back to whenever these are done. Alright, so both of these are done. We can take a look at them now. We're just going to be comparing from Android to Windows. Because we're on the Android one right now, we can search because it has all the classes and all the functions for the class. So if we search in it, you can see on this little left-hand side, you can see if we go to here, like daily level page the it's right here and it's already all right here let's just actually look for daily level page in it right now you can see that it's calling to a lot of strings daily level corner one right here like this this isn't common so if we take this and we go back to our windows version and we click s right it pulls up the search memory we just click string and we search for that string that we found right and here we go we just double click on this and let's see it has a couple references you can see right here these are all different functions that call it let's just go one by one it doesn't call it too much so if we go back we can take a look at the second one this one says community credits which this is a string so we can even take a look at what this could be on the android version so if we go like here and we search yeah we just go here search community credits it's probably like belonging to one, right? Yeah, here we go. This is in it of community credits page in it. See, we just accidentally found that one. We have we have community credits in it right here. We accidentally found it, right? So what we want to do is we can rename this, right? Because we've already found it, right? And what we're going to really want is this memory address right down here, right? So I made a program that does this automatically. All we got to do is match that. So we do 140927F0. And boom. This is the offset. I have this little thing right here. It's a DLL for GD that I was testing with, right? So this is taking the GD memory address, right? And this is the offset. This offset's always gonna be the same from, from this normal handle. Next time we go on to the community credits, I believe that's what we just found. Yeah, the community credits page. We should just get spammed and it might even crash because we're not calling it. But we'll definitely see this E whenever we pull it up. But definitely right here. Yeah, there we go. You can see right here, it's printing E. So we did just find the community credits in it. All it takes is one little string, like community credits, and you can find a lot. We're gonna try to find something that doesn't have a string connected to it. Because finding a string, very easy. Something without a string, very not. Right, we're gonna do is icon unlock. This is used for, for making stuff like icon hack. And there's no strings connected to it. If you're looking through this decompile, there's no strings connected to it, right? So whenever this happens, right, 
You're gonna need to look for references. We look for references to is icon unlocked, right? We can look through these. Nope, this one. Is. So you can see. Ah, okay, here we go, here we go. So we have a string that we can look for, right? And this is item info pop up. So if we were to go to that string that we just found, and then we go back to our Windows version, we search up this string, search all, and here we are. Oh, okay, we got lucky. This only has one address that's connected to it. Sometimes it's you don't get this lucky, but now we know that we can rename this function to item info pop up. What we're really looking for is we're looking for is icon unlocked. Right? So if we look, the one that we really care about is this one right here. So we're gonna have to find this on the Windows version by looking through it. it it's it's like in the general area most of the time. So it could be this one because this one's close takes three parameters. What is our yeah, this one takes three parameters as well. So this one very well might be it. So we t click onto this. So all we gotta do is collect this one, put it through this, get this address, and we just plop it in here. And then we can just put like, so we just inject. Now, whenever we go to check if an icon's unlocked, we should get flooded. Yep, and there we go, is icon unlocked. That is how you find memory addresses for Geometry Dash using Ghidra. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.